Welcome everyone. In this video I'll be showing you all the materials that is needed to make a suit and how to use them. This is actually a suit series. The videos will start from the materials needed in making a suit, how to add interface and canvas a suit, how to cut a suit, how to join the sleeve, how to cut the sleeve, how to make a collar. I just thought of starting everything from the beginning. So I'll be showing you how to use this three and a half yards you see me measuring now in making a full suit in subsequent videos. So do where to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and sit back and watch the remaining materials that are needed to make a suit and how to use them. Almost every suit material have the same elastic quality. When you stretch it horizontally, it doesn't stretch. When you stretch it vertically, it doesn't stretch. But when you stretch it diagonally, it almost always stretch. And that could be a problem while you're making your suit. So that is where the ST comes into play. The ST actually keeps the material structure firm. When you apply ST with the help of your pressing iron to your bodice, it keeps the whole structure of the material intact. And that is why it is the most important of them all. A canvas is very malleable. That means no matter how you bend it, it always returns to its original shape. Fully canvassed suits don't mostly require much ironing, as it always returns to its shape no matter how you bend it unlike half canvas suits. This is a wording. It can be used on its own or with other materials. The chest pad, a combination of both wording and canvas and a little strand of ST attached with a zigzag stitch on the side is what gives structure to the chest of the suit. The wording can also be used with a half inch foam to create a shoulder pad and this kind of shoulder pad is actually reliable compared to the ones you buy that doesn't even last up to a year before it flattens like a paper. So if you are making a standard suit that will last for years, you need to be sure of what is the component of the materials used in creating your shoulder pad. For this, you place your half inch foam in between two wording, then you use your sewing machine to sew all round. But you won't sew the front. For the front, you just use your hemming needle to hem it, and you can guarantee you have something that will last you for years. So, as you can see, I've sewn around the shoulder pad and I've also hemmed the front with my hand needle. The arm hold padding is actually carried out when we are adding our sleeve to our bodice. So we actually place it underneath the sleeve when we are sewing it to the borders and we stitch all three together. For the interface, the interface is mostly used for the facing of the suit. So while making your facing, we use our interface. We also use it for edges of the parts of the suit that requires bending, like the wrist of the sleeve, the neck, the vent and other places that require bending. Anywhere you know you need your pressing iron to work on, you mostly use your interface because it gives it the perfect finishing. The gum stay is a little bit harder than the paper stay. When you want to bend your fabric into any shape, the best interface to use is your gum stay. It is mostly used for the making of the breast pocket, the welt pocket, the jacket pocket and every other pocket in the process of making our suit. Though you can use other interface for these same purposes. This is the suit lining we will be working with. It is a little bit flamboyant in terms of design and color, but that is not actually the main quality to look out for when choosing a suit lining. When choosing a suit lining, make sure you use the scissors to make a little cut on the lining. Check if it removes shreds of thread from the edge of the cut. If it does, it is not perfect for your suit. But if it doesn't, it is actually perfect for your suit because you'll be making a lot of cuts and you don't want to be adding interface on every cut you make on your lining when making your suit. So that is one of the things, if not the most important thing to look out for when choosing a lining for your suit.